Live. Yeah, Matt. Scruffy dog. Scruffy dog horse burger. Grown almost every day for the past three years. Rick Tank does such a great job and stands up to the heavy use. I love that dog. And so easy to use. Now think if a scrubby dog can grill on one, what you humans can do on it. A dog can grill on a rectech. If a oh. dog can grill on a rectech, you can grill on a rectech. Oh, you've already started? Yeah, we already started. It's Monday, Friday. Am I gonna cook this food? <laughs> Diamond Good Dave. Food. It's Monday, Friday. Diamond Dave Gangle. All right. Morning, Roger. Can anybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Everybody out there in Insta land? Hey, you guys on Facebook, go follow us on Instagram, Rectech Grills. Just type in Rectech Grills. Hey, you guys on Instagram, go follow us on Facebook. Look for. Search for Rectech Grills. R E C T E C G R I L L S. Rectech Grills. Can everybody hear me, Matt? Is anybody oh, yeah. made a comment? Well, Ham can hear you. Ham? And Diamond Dave said, Sing to me, brother. Well, he obviously can hear me. So we're doing good. Andy, can you hear me? Yeah. Andy, can you hear me? Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're good today. Perfect. Funny Friday, we're here in Augusta, Georgia, the worldwide headquarters of Rectech Grills, Rectech Industries, LLC. Uh, we wanted to just say hello, say hi there, welcome you to our weekly live cooking demonstration special uh, thing we like to do. Pretty much I'm just getting paid to cook and act a fool, so that's what I do. Uh, we want to send a shout out to Matt Barber, one of our Rectech Academy uh, instructors for getting grand champion at Pork Tobacue. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Congratulations. It's a big, big deal. Uh, wanted to send a shout out to Snake River Farms, uh, a new Academy sponsor. Also, Smithfield Meats. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, Smithfield Foods, I believe. Uh, on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. And Snake River Farms, uh, those are our two new sponsors. Uh, financing is now available for uh, the Academy. Uh, just go to rectechgirls.com, click on the Academy tab, and it will prompt you through everything you need to do to be able to sign up for and pay for the Rectech Academy. Uh, remember guys, Rectech Academy is gonna be made May 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2018. Make sure you sign up now. We've got a lot of awesome stuff coming up, especially with uh, the free food, the free drinks, the hanging out, the concerts, the discounted hotel rates. Um, I can sell it all day long. We only have a short amount of time. But remember, Rectech Academy made third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, today we are doing a pork loin, pork, excuse me, pork tenderloin, uh, not to be confused with pork loin. Thank you, Chris. Uh, these are two totally different cuts of meat, pork or any loin and any tenderloin. Uh, when uh, they're talking about the loin, they're more than likely gonna be talking about the ribeye uh, of the animal. So pork loin is gonna be more of the ribeye where they cut pork chops from. And the tenderloin is gonna be more from um, the a central spine portion. It's primarily used more for posture of the animal. Uh, so it's very, very tender. Uh, in deer, I believe they call them back straps. Uh, but today we are working with a pork tender loin. Um, how many have we got, Matt? We had four of them. Mm -hmm. We've already got some finished. I'm going to show you guys how I prepared uh, a few of them. This one here we're going to prepare with Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub, now on sale at rectechgrills.com for $7.49. We're also going to be giving away a sauce and spice bundle at the end of this video right here, so you guys stay tuned for that. Um, share this video right now to let other people know that they can get something at the end of this video too. So, but the way we prepared uh, this piece of meat, well, let me back up. Let me start by uh, how we prepared the grill. We have the Rectech RT680 set at 350 degrees. Uh, we are burning Ultimate Blend pellets, a blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory. The first thing I do of every cook, you guys already know, I clean out my fire pot. 
make sure it's good and clear, and then I put aluminum foil on my drip pan. Uh, that way, no flare-ups, no grease fires, no temperature fluctuations, and my cook's gonna be consistent every time. Also, another thing I, I checked, because it's a grill here at the uh, warehouse, I checked my bucket level. It was super, super high, so I went ahead and dumped all of the grease out of the bucket. Uh, now the grill is ready to go. So the way we prepared this pork tenderloin, as you can see, half of it I've already got here, uh, but then I've got some bacon. What I did was, I washed this tenderloin, I patted it dry, and then I rubbed it down with the Rossaruski's Honey Rib Rub, and I've wrapped it halfway in bacon, and this is how I do it. I don't use the toothpicks that a lot of people like to use. I just like to wrap the bacon on top of itself. Matt, if you want to come on over here, that's great. Let's see, I've, I've got it overlapping. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep that train rolling. Hear that train are coming. This is coming around the bend. And then you see, uh, just by overlapping it, it keeps it on there. I don't have to use any toothpicks or anything. My toothpicks can, you know, work. Um, you guys know me, I'm just lazy. Just another step. Diamond Dave said, are those Greg Mueller knives I see? Oh, Dave, good eye. Those are Greg Mueller, Chef Greg Mueller. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know him as Chef Greg. He also makes knives on the side. Mueller Knife Works is uh, Chef Greg's page. If you want to check that out, give him a like, send him a message. He'll make you some knives. You ever do a bacon weave? Yes, absolutely. We've actually got a bacon weave video. If you just go to YouTube and type in Rectech Grill Bacon Weave, our video will pop right up and that'll actually probably be my hand showing you how to do a bacon weave. So as you can see, we just pretty much spiraled bacon around this pork tenderloin. I, like I said, I seasoned it with the Rasa Ruskies. I'm gonna season it again, just to give it, so it has some awesome color. And remember, RT680, set at 350 degrees. This pork tenderloin, I know because I cooked three uh, before, is gonna take about an hour and 10 minutes to get to that prime sweet 135. Um, I believe 145 is, of course, the USDA suggested temperature that you pull your meat off. But me, when we pull it off, we you know wrap it in these pans, and it continues to cook and get above that. But we want it to be a rare, and we don't want it dried out. So, but now we'll tease this. I'll show you guys that later. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the Rectech. Uh, 350 degrees RT 680 ultimate blend pellets remember I cleaned that fire pot out and I uh, put new foil on the drip pan I'm not gonna have any flare-ups I'm not gonna have any temperature fluctuations it's gonna be a very consistent cook I know because I'm using ultimate blend pellets as well and the 680 with the, the uh, patented trademarked smart grill technology and you guys can see I've got the new limited edition Rectech grills Mossy Oak 110 cap. Those are available now. Now, 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 right before we got on live, we just put those up. So these are available on the website. Just look for uh, under apparel, Rectech 110 caps. These are limited edition. We're not uh, making a lot of these. So these, these the are back. super cool. Turn See the back? Oh. Hey. Hey. You wanted to see the back? Oh, I'll show yeah. you the back, all right. All right, cool. Remember, 680, 350. It's going to take about an hour, hour, 10 minutes. We're looking for an internal. I'm going to pull it off at 135, but it's going to eventually get to 145, which makes it safe to eat. But uh, we'll see you back in just a little bit. Remember, sauce and spice bundle coming up, coming up. Only way to win at anything. Ding, ding. Hear that train coming. Just pull everyone to bed. When you see the sunshine, it's on the way. Got that? Oh, pin thermometer and it still works. It still works. I use it as dry on and it still works. Use it as dry. Boom, it's working. Look at that. Look at that. I'm fired up because I get to use my favorite accessory, the Rectech grill mat, stick proof, well, stick resistant, dishwasher, dishwasher shape. So, here's our beautiful loin, tenderloin. Put it on there. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, it's not gonna stick on the grill now. Three fifty.
50. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we lost internet on Instagram. That means we get to give away two sauce and spice bottles on Facebook. All right. Well, let me finish this bacon up. Let me show you guys. Uh, I got some bacon here. This is another cool thing to do on the Rectech grill mats. I'll give Instagram a second to catch up, maybe. Cool, you're gonna love that roadie, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> but don't drink and drive. <laughs> Remember, we do not condone it for open containers. But we did call it a roadie for a reason. So that's going into 350 as well. For you guys that uh, are, are getting the Rectech, you know, the, for the very first time, these are a great accessory to get. That way, after you do the to be burning, you can go ahead and cook some bacon and start that seasoning process on the inside of your grill. Uh, it's a super inexpensive uh, accessory as well. It's $14.99 a piece or $27.95 for two. Uh, it's free shipping. Uh, Rectechgrills.com for those. They're stick resistant. Um, I also use them to pick the meat up, so I'm gonna use gloves and just pick this up when it's done. So, 350 Ultimate Blend Red Oak White Oak Hickory Pellets in the 40 pound hopper with the stainless steel hopper lid. Are we back, Insta? Cool. You guys on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Rectech Grills. But we're gonna give away a sauce and spice bundle. All right. So the first person to tell me what is green and smells like pork, you get a sauce and spice bundle That's for free. Time. What is green and smells like pork? Put that in the comment section. The first person that puts the right answer gets a sauce and spice bundle. Okay. So what is green and smells like pork? Could be a, a leprechaun. There it is, Diamond Dave. Diamond Dave, what did he say? Kermit's finger. Ah! <laughs> Diamond Dave Bingle. Diamond Dave Bingle. Diamond Dave Bingle. Dave, you don't have to call. We'll, we'll send it to you. Unless you want to talk to Connor. 855-696-0890. Ask for Connor, Dave. Is there anybody on Insta? Not yet. Nobody? All right. But I just used that. Bullpen thermometer. That's why. As a drum. And it still works. I was literally using it for a drum. Drumstick. Very durable. Alright. We ain't got time for this Insta. Diamond Dave, you win. We'll uh, do it later. We need more people to watch on Instagram. Remember, follow us on Instagram, guys. Diamond Dave, come back over on Instagram and you can win it over here too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much. We'll be back in about now. We're about five minutes. We'll cut what I've already cooked. Okay. Monday, Friday. Rectech grills. Bullpen thermometer. Congratulations, Diamond Dave. Looking for me and you. It's Adam's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Adam. And we cooked this pork loin. This pork loin was the one that took an hour and fifteen minutes. At 350 on the Rectech using the ultimate blend pellets. Hey, I know that these rags are clean because they came out of my washing machine. Look at that little guy. He's rested. 350, an hour and 15 on the dot, ran a stopwatch, set the grill to 350. I know it maintained 350 because it always does. Front to back, side to side. Face down, cash up. Let's cut this bad boy. Get him on in there. Oh. What's a heart? That beautifulness. Thank you, to, uh, <clears throat> thank you, Chef Greg, for this unbelievably sharp knife. Hello from New Jersey, Michael. New Jersey. Now what I want to do with these, just a little thought I had, I just want to make little sliders with them. So we'll leave that for your imagination. Hey, how you doing, sir? 
Good, sir. So here's a little Hawaiian bun. Just gonna put that little guy right there. I made some mashed potatoes. You're good to go. It will dry. Look at that. It's just gonna be disgusting and do that. Yep. I'm gonna do what everybody thinks I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna eat that. Now, what's the internal temp? Uh, we did what we pulled it at 135. And we let it rest in one of these aluminum pans with foil on it tight, and it reached. You know, the USDA suggests 145. It probably reached 145. And here is what they call a uh, cranberry celebration. <laughs> it's like a, I don't know, what would it be like a cranberry kind of salad kind of thing. I've actually done this before and it's really, really good. So that I just pulled, nobody knew I was going to do that. I just pulled that out of my house because I knew we had cranberry celebration and mashed potatoes and pork loin. So that's what I always do with these guys. Here's a little, little presentation. I also did some corn. That's going to be up on the notes section of Facebook. Ooh. So well, I'll show you how to do that. It's a little corn casserole. But, uh... Uh-huh. 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 Let's do what everybody on the interwebs are doing. Let's cut it in half. <laughs> you getting ready? <laughs> Look at that. That's sick, bro. Sick. Yeah. Thanksgiving, kind of. Man, at Ross Roosties. I want to give a case away right now. Type out. First person that spells Ross Roosties right gets a case of Ross Roosties sent to him. This stuff is amazing. Mm. And do you want some? Sure. Good answer. Come on. Do you like these three things? Mashed potatoes? Cranberries and pork loin? I've never had cranberries. Let's see. Well, you don't see today. I told you it was cranberries were a surprise. There it is Jerry Amoroso Dilts. Three <laughs> words, three names, I like it. Jerry, 855 696, what, Matt? 0890. Smell it. No, don't smell it. I think, I think we're missing one. You want me to spell it? Are we missing? I think it's time. That's looking like Jacob Atkins. Okay. Retract our statement, Jerry. Sorry. Jacob Atkins. Jacob Atkins. 855-696-0890. You'll get a case of Rasa Ruskies. Who's over here? Sally King. Sally King. <laughs> Did she spell it right? Yeah. Hey, Sally. I'll be sending that to ATL. You want me to send it? To you just let me know where you want me to send it. I'll send it. That was, thank you, Sally, for watching. That means a lot. Love you. All right. Uh, what else? Oh, Insta. Let's, uh, what do we want to do? Give away another sauce and spice bundle, too? Cool. All right. Insta. Oh, yeah. What is a pig's favorite color? Sally, you can't win this. What's a pig's favorite color? Uh, Facebook, same thing. What's a pig's favorite color? The first person that gives me the right answer. My right answer. What? You don't know the answer, man? You remember me saying it last time? Okay, all right. Cool, all right. Cool. Not pink. Not pink. Not, Not pink. green. Ain't pink or green. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun.
funny, Sally. That is so funny. Anybody? Mahogany. I got one. Mahogany is the pig's favorite color. Mahogany. Yeah. Instagram got it first. I got one. Who you got? <laughs> SPJP8184. <laughs> All right. Mahogany. You. SP. JP. JP. 8184. Call 855-696-0890. John and Stacy Phillips. John and Stacy give us us a spice bundle. Connor. What up? 855-696-0890 and ask for Connor. State who? John and Stacy. John and Stacy Phillips. And Jacob Atkins. And Jacob Atkins. And JPSCJP1A4. Yep. Alright. That was Monday Friday. Recap. Pork tenderloin. It's a posture muscle. It's not used for locomotion, so it's super, super tender. Okay, remember that. Uh, the pork loin is what they cut pork chops from, and it's more like a ribeye. So remember that. Uh, we did 350 degrees on the RT680. This one was an hour and 15 minutes. These two were exactly an hour, okay? We used the ultimate blend pellet, red oak, white oak hickory. We cleaned the fire pot out. We put on new foil, good airflow, no flare ups. We weren't cooking above 400, so there was no worry for flare ups anyway, but whatever. Um, we did a corn, uh, I guess you could say casserole. Or, yeah, corn casserole. And then I just did some mashed, loaded mashed potatoes. The corn casserole uh, recipe will be up on the notes section of Facebook. What else we got? Don't forget, Meat Sweats, 2 p.m. every week, our weekly sports show. You can win RT680 just by participating. Um, Instagram or Thomas Moore, Christmas Town, Christmas Town Sweer. Thank you so much for liking all of our stuff. You're the best. Uh, hashtag hot, hot, hot. Remember, we got new apparel, accessories online. This is the limited edition Mossy Oak 110 cap. Just go to apparel 110 cap and select the Mossy Oak selection. Shout out to Outdoor Augusta. Thank you so much for taking our apparel everywhere and shooting off some pictures with it. We love you, Andy. We love you, Amy. We love you, Meredith. Uh, thank you so much. Anybody who's in Augusta, if you need any uh, kayak needs, if you have anybody that's wanting to learn how to kayak, uh, paddleboard, uh, any kind of water sports out of Betty's Branch, contact Outdoor Augusta, Amy and Andy Colbert and their daughter, Meredith. Thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for us. Funday Friday, Augusta, Georgia. Uh, 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 Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you don't like us on those uh, other things, please do. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Ray and Ron for letting me do all uh, this all the time. Thank you. Love you. Uh, congratulations to the winners. Monday, Friday, tenderloin. It's not a loin. Uh, we out. I'm telling you that corn is off the chain. <laughs>